All right, we are live. Hi, everyone. I'm Grandmaster Magesh Panchanathan, and this is Coach Henry. Hi. <laughs> we are here for our challenge, your chess coach, as always, on Fridays. So we have um, Coach Emmanuel and Coach Luis, who are going to be playing today. And also, as always, at some point, me and Coach Henry will jump in <laughs> to Sounds play some good. games. Okay, so let's see. Um, by the way, we have our um, chess.com IDs on the on the video. So if you want to challenge us there, uh, you can look at the chess.com ID. So right now, Coach Emmanuel and Coach Luis on the left, they'll be playing. And their IDs are BM223344 for Coach Emmanuel. And um, chess.com ID for Coach Luis is C-H-U-N-I-F-L-O-W, Chini Flow. And let's see if someone has already started. I don't see Coach Emmanuel has started anything yet. Let's see. I just have to add Coach Luis to my friends list there. Oh, you know what? I don't have that either. A good point. I guess I'm going to do that in a separate tab. Good idea. So it doesn't affect anything else. All right. Uh, I do see both Emmanuel and Coach Luis have started their games. Oh, they have? Okay, awesome. Let me yep. add Coach Luis because I don't have him in my friend list. I can only do it after I add it. Okay, I've added him. Oh, Coach Emmanuel has started, so I have that. All right, so who do we have here? Best Mule. Best Matt Mule is... Do you remember Coach Henry? I remember that that's a name we've seen a lot before. I don't remember who it is. I, I think it's the same case for me, right? We remember the <laughs> the names, but not so good with with remembering yes. the student names. I do remember some of them. Mm -hmm. So here it looks like Emmanuel has grabbed a pawn in the French. Normally, when white sacrifices that pawn, the queen has to end up on d4, not a knight. And then the queen gets chased around a lot. This looks like a much happier version for Emmanuel. Yeah, how did he win that? Let me just go back really quick. So yeah, the knight just so the the most common trap. Um, I shouldn't say trap. I guess the most common kind of misstep in the French advance is to just put your knight on d2 too early, and uh, you don't have ways to defend the pawn. Mm. So I'm gonna go to the live position. Okay. We can. Um, Keep watching the live game. I'm going to make sure Coach Luis is in my friends list in a second. I'll be right back. Sounds good. Okay, and here Black is winning a queen or a rook with a skewer tactic. So after the queen wins, moves out of the way, the bishop will take the rook on f1. So Best Mule is down too much material. But if anybody knows who Best Mule is in the chat, let us know. Then we can call him by their name. So definitely advice for Best Mule, I would say take your time. Play a little slower. It is blitz. It's five minutes blitz. You don't have a ton of time, but you have more time than what you've used. So I always see this. I see kids, they play, uh, you know, crazy, crazy fast. And then as soon as they're losing, like uh, Best Mule is right now, then they start thinking. It's too late to think now. Now you're already losing. But okay, we can still see if we can cause any problems to Coach Emmanuel. But I think this should be a pretty smooth conversion here because we're just up in exchange. I'm so back. all we need to do is, hi. <laughs> what did we miss? Uh, we also dropped an exchange. Uh oh, with, okay. With this, a skewer of the queen and rook. And I'm still not seeing Coach Luis. Uh, you might have to refresh your uh, live chess tab. Oh really? That's what it does? Mm -hmm. I see he's playing uh, Bobby Shadi. Oh, okay. You know what? I should be able to see it from Bobby Shuddy's because he's in my... There he is. <laughs> Let's watch through. That is Ayush. So this is their game. Ooh. The pawn is on d6. How did the pawn get there? Let's take a step back and look at this. Okay, so we have... Huh. So, okay. So the typical QGD, I think it started. Mm -hmm. 
so the f3 e4 again is a very common plan there are a couple of plans for white white either to go f3 e4 or of course b4 and a4 um, but to play b4 a4 usually the knight ends up on f3 not on e2 so knight on e2 usually means this f3 and e4 setup which is actually very dangerous because once you play f3 and e4 or once black white gets that e5 becomes inevitable so this is a blunder i think black just blundered allowing e5 and he's just down a piece this looks mm -hmm. pretty lost ah. but yeah what could we have done instead of knight b6 giving the fork because already it, it didn't look too great i guess we can exchange bishops first you have but... to take i mean at this point bishop takes g3 is almost forced mm -hmm. and after knight takes g3 i think white is still better because i've achieved this and i'm probably going to play e5 but uh, yeah, at least you won't lose a piece, yeah? <laughs> so, and also black has some chances of playing queen b6 and putting pressure here after knight grunt. That still looks interesting. I'm just going to try to catch up with live board because it looks like this rook e2 is an interesting shot. Because I think he gained some kind of material. Ah, knight takes e2, what am I doing? <laughs> That's just, <laughs> I, I was looking at bishop takes g5 the most time. Yep, now it looks pretty over. And yeah. we are yeah, about to lose on time as well. Let's go to Coach Emmanuel's game and see what's going on. Looks like that is still status quo up a pawn and up an exchange. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh queen no, takes six. there goes the queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. Best mule. Sai is saying he saw me in camp today. Yes, Sai. <laughs> we had a chess <laughs> camp. Charlotte had a great camp this week. And I was teaching it. And Sai was in it. And now he's on the stream trying to play against coaches. And at 7 o'clock, he's going to be playing the league match. <laughs> the mid oh, my goodness. Chess you league. got a professional chess player schedule right there. <laughs> yep. I think it's probably started like 10 in the morning. And then he's, he's going and going and going. Sai so says, Coach Luis declined my challenge. Well, oh. challenge Coach Emmanuel. Maybe he's busy. Maybe Coach Luis is playing someone else. Yep, at this point, looks like Coach Luis started playing Ohm. All right, E4, C5. And I got Coach Emmanuel also started in a game. All right, so let's see this. So we have the Sicilian. Let's see what part of Sicilian. Ah, Ooh, Queen takes Queen D4. Takes D4. Is Queen takes d4 a real move there? I don't want to say it's not a move. It looks pretty silly to me, but you never know. Oh, it's a very popular line. I mean, I really the, I used to play this a long time ago, but it was never okay. considered mainstream. It was always considered one of those lines that are like, you know, you, you avoid all the main lines kind of move. But now, mm -hmm. recently, there was some update and some improvements on, the, on that line, and it became actually mainstream. Lots of players play this. It, it's actually quite interesting, yeah. So you normally play this b5 and take on c6? Uh, yes, bishop b5 after bishop d7, I guess, actually no, bishop takes c6 was not right, I think. If I remember right, when, when you play this, I think they found some interesting idea. I don't remember exactly, I wish I remember the exact mm -hmm. uh, reason why it became popular <laughs> again. <Okay. laughs> but there was some very interesting move order change that, that made it popular. I don't think that's bishop takes c6, if I remember right. Okay. Yeah, I knew about queen takes d4 when black plays g6 because then at least you have a tempo on the rook on e8. But I didn't know that you could do it even in this line. <laughs> yeah, this is this has gotten very interesting. Now I feel like it's comfortable for black, yeah? Just two bishops? Yeah, the two bishops versus two knights imbalance is always interesting. <laughs> this is coming in. I might have played this rook to d8. I think coach Luis chose the other rook. But I think Coach Luis has uh, started playing super fast <laughs> after last. <laughs> there was one disastrous outing for him where he had time trouble in pretty much every game. All right. Okay. Mo moving on to Coach Emmanuel's game. He's playing VB7. Awesome. Are you like his... is issuing a request saying if <laughs> either one of us play against um, him, he wants us to play the French. I can play the French Ayush, absolutely. If I remember <laughs> it, I'll play it. I used to play, I mean, I didn't. I shouldn't say I used to. I studied the French for some time mm -hmm. and I played it until I lost the most, one of the most critical games of my chess career in World Juniors. <laughs> in 25 moves, I was crushed and then that's the last time I played French. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did White play against you? How did he crush your French? Not I the exchange variation, I hope. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would have been depressed if it was the exchange variation. 
<laughs> so I don't remember exactly. Um, I think it was either the classic or Tarash. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, one of those things. But I really love Coach um, Emmanuel's knight on e5 here. Ooh, that that knight's that's going to haunt him. I think that's going to be a real problem. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I play Queen h5 right away? Maybe not necessary. Maybe not necessary. Maybe just Queen f3 and Queen e4 is much simpler. I just want to swing around. Mm -hmm. And then, the, oh, he played Queen f3. I think hitting that, right? So, this so what be... was a better way for Black to deal with a really strong knight on e5? Good I mean, point. sometimes you can try to kick it with f6, but that looks pretty hard in this position. You well, just have in, to play around in this it? position, I, I think just leaving it alone <laughs> is the only option. Just leave it alone. <laughs> I, I think he has to go go to e4. Oh, looks like it's already game over. Okay. Ah, he played rook c1 and blundered immediately. Intermediate move, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Let's go to Coach Luis's game. Let's see if we got in, anything interesting. Actually, it's rook for two bishops, and the bishops look extremely strong. The only hope I have for Ohm is the A pawn. A pass yes, pawn that's running away. It is a pass pawn. The problem is... Yeah, it looks like the pawn is going to get corralled with like just rook a6 or something. Yeah, rook a6 followed by bishop d5 is coming in. And then I think that's just going to... He's going to lose that pawn. Actually, bishop d5 runs into rook d8. Ooh, that's a blunder. Looks like Coach Louis just blundered. Rook d8, yeah? And oh, and he found it too. Yep. That seems... Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Things got yeah, interesting. Like... But he uh -huh. still has one pawn for the exchange. He still has one pawn for the exchange. So, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really count this out. And, and yeah, a very you, strong You have bishop. to feel really good getting rid of the bishop pair. It's a lot easier to deal with one bishop than two. <laughs> Absolutely. I think f5 now. Maybe rook c8 is what he has to play after f5. Because if he takes on c2, maybe rook takes d4 ideas. Okay, and now there is rook d4. Ah, he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. But I think black is completely winning here, yeah? Yeah, the pawns and the bishop, they're working well together. At least it, hard, it seems harder for black to lose this. Yeah, well, he's also up on time. He's up by like 20 seconds, so I'm guessing this should be mm -hmm. smooth sailing for Coach Luis. Let me quickly go and see what is happening with Coach uh, Emmanuel. Looks like Boss Pineapple, Arman, is in. He he messages every Friday. is like, why are we not doing our, our challenge at Chess Coach last week? I know some of you guys were disappointed, but last Friday was the Friday before July 4th. So we thought it was good to take that time off. And um, ooh, c5. This is interesting. So I guess this is mm -hmm. a beautiful pawn chain situation, right? <laughs> yes. So I guess black wants... Well, what does black want? I guess we can't really play f5, f4 here. What well, is our pawn break? <laughs> coming at h4, which makes me think that I can, I can just play with my pieces. Because I can even break with h6, g5 now. I would think h4 really? is a little too dangerous. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you thought he was restricting g5 and f5, you know, to stop the f4 pawn break eventually. That's right, yeah. But I think the problem with that is when you play h4, right? When I play h6 and g5, the h file opens up. So mm -hmm. it's it's no way getting out of this. But the problem is white really has to play on the queen side. That's yeah, white only... still seems like they can get some stuff rolling with, with a4 and b4, right? But I, I, it's going to be probably too slow. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, he's going for f6 and g5, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do they have more than five minutes? <laughs> what kind of time control uh, are they playing? Five, five. Wait, where do I see that? Um, I see it in the chat room, right where it says they started a new game. Ah, it says okay. five, five. That I think five, nice. five is technically considered correspondence chess. Is that right? Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought, I thought you were seriously <laughs> saying something. I was like, is it? <laughs> okay, so we have. Mr. Sai Charan is playing against Coach Luis. Sai is always very solid. I look forward to his game. He is always getting a reasonable position. The only problem is he's low on time. So let's see if Sai can maintain his time in mm -hmm. this game. So we have some kind of a King's Indian setup. Okay, so Bishop G4. 
I'm not sure if I'm very happy with this bishop trade for black. That is a good bishop for a bad bishop, right? It seems like mm. after that trade happens, white is left with this right. really nice bishop and black is left with the, mm -hmm. the yeah. locked-in bishop. Yeah. And I, I think the h4, h5 was a lot more effective than the a4, a5. Because if I push my pawn to a3, I don't think you have to, you can just play b3 and you don't feel too bad. But it seems like there's a little more punch on the king side with this pawn break. Yeah. As, as one of my students famously asked, why are you attacking on the queen side? There is no king <laughs> king there. <laughs> right? Uh, but in this case, I guess the queen side attack is justified because the white king is there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the moves that we predicted just did happen. H4, H5 and A4 has happened this way. F3, interesting. I guess um, maybe knight F3 was stronger. Maybe knight would maybe... have come in. Maybe he wants g4 and queen h2 and take on h7 checkmate. Makes or sense. I guess that's not even checkmate, but it's close. Makes sense. Unless black gets some nice knight takes b3 kind of ideas here, I think this is uh, going to be interesting. Okay, let's switch over to coach Emmanuel's game and see what's going on. Ooh, mm -hmm. this got interesting. Very interesting. How did he take on g3? So, after, so some g5 ideas did happen. Mm-hmm. And I guess the knight got to g3 and queen c7. Oh, so knight, I think critical point. We came at the right moment. How does he save g3? Knight e2? Looks like the only move. Yeah. Or I can give up that pawn and play knight h2. But I, I think, yeah, knight e2. Wait, knight e2 loses e3. Mm. Vedanta is asking, can I do a leeches simul? I could, Vedanta. I don't know. We haven't done much. Um, Akshat's asking, do I prefer Blitz or Classical? Well, um, off late, very clearly my Blitz has dropped quite a bit. <laughs> I've not been able to play that high level. My peak was probably long, long time ago, maybe 15 years ago <laughs> in ICC. I used to be 2,900 and now I'm actually 2,500 in chess.com and I struggle with that. I, I really have not been able to get to 2,600. I think either the playing level has gotten much stronger or my Blitz skill has gotten we weaker. <laughs> Okay, so he does go for knight e2. He holds g3, but he lets go of e3. I would have played knight h2 and give, given up the g3 pawn. I think now he's even more trouble. Yeah, rook doubles up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rook comes to e8. Okay, so in this low um, correspondence game, it's going to <laughs> it's looked like black is winning. So let's move back. Uh -huh. Ah, so Coach Luis got both rooks on the h file. But black is able to defend uh, with the rook on f7. So it doesn't look mm -hmm. so bad for black other than the fact that the bishop on h8 looks unbelievably bad. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> is that another draw offer? Oh, uh, it's a draw offer in Coach Emmanuel's game. I don't think so. Coach Emmanuel's up a piece or up a pawn. He's not going to give you a draw. <laughs> Dinesh is saying, I love bullet and blitz. Mm -hmm. Well, bullet, all of these games actually kind of help you build stuff. Bullet. Is probably reflex much fast, like really quick reflex. Blitz, of course, is quick reflex and calculation. So uh, I don't mind you guys playing all of that. Just make sure you don't get obsessed with just one format. That's the trick. Dinesh, while I see you in chat, I just want to make sure you're playing in the Mid-Atlantic League, right? I sent an email. I just want to make sure you're in there. Do you like bullet? What do you think, Henry? Do you like bullet chess? I, I do not like bullet because whenever I start playing bullet, I end up playing like a hundred games and I get, you know, <laughs> I lose a million rating points and feel bad. <laughs> Usually I play bullet until I get my rating like above like some round number, like 2100 or 2200. And then I quit for three years. <laughs> <laughs> three years. That sounds interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't play that much bullet. The only time I've played bullet is when I go to some of the camps and we, with these other mm -hmm. instructors. So castle chess camp that I go to in Atlanta, which is a great camp. Unfortunately, this is the first year that they've not been able to run to due to COVID. But, mm -hmm. um, that camp has a bunch of instructors and everybody starts playing. So all formats, okay go and bullet comes in and same thing um with daniel nerditsky 
I've played okay. a bunch of bullet against him and uh, I get to win like two or three games out of a hundred. So it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you talking over the board bullet as opposed yes. to online? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't even touch over the board bullet. I'm knocking all, knocking exactly. over all the pieces and stuff. And <laughs> it's mostly about I mean, putting the pieces in the right square. Yeah. Right. Right. But Naroditsky, he's pretty scary, especially online. Too. Oh yeah, scary. yeah. He is. He's so good, and that makes me. That just actually motivates me to play more. Mm -hmm. He has a cool stream in which he he plays and he does all these things, and it's really really nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's streaming a lot for the char the Charlotte Chess Center right now. He just played a match versus Peter Stidler, in fact. And he won, right? Oh, crushed him. <laughs> oh wow! I, I when I saw that, I was seeing the middle of it, and I thought when I mean, he was up in score, so I yeah. was like, okay, that's really nice. But looks like he. He crushed him. Huh? What was the final score? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could find out. What? What was that? Was that was Blitz and Bullet? Yeah. Yes, I think it was similar to the Chess.com Speed Championship format, where they do slow Blitz, then fast Blitz, then Bullet. Okay, so it looks like this game is over. Boss Pineapple Chess Boy. This is not going very well. Ohm wants to. So can I play again? Ohm, let's wait a little bit. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance. So let them play a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you'll get a chance, you know, at some point I'll jump in, Coach Henry will jump in, mm -hmm. we'll get a chance. Just watch the games, enjoy the flow. Mega Nidorf is back and he's playing against Coach Luis. What do we have here? So we got the regular QGD again. I'm so um, not clear about these openings, I guess. I guess you and me are in the same board in some sense. <laughs> uh, well, that's not good. I'm, I'm like... Why don't you talk about the openings, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no did he just thanks. blunder a pawn? Looks like he blundered a pawn, yep. Okay, so the Naroditsky beat Swidler 17 to 10 over all the games. Wow. So that's, that's including impressive. some blitz and some blitz. Because Swidler is awesome. Swidler is great. Yes. 17 to 10 against Swidler sounds <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. But Naroditsky, he goes toe to toe with Carlson, too. Yeah. Yep. Which I don't know. Did you know that Coach Ben played a game against Carlson in the title arena? Oh, he did? Yeah, it was a bullet game. But and? Oh, that's pretty good. He was winning very briefly for like two moves, but he lost. <laughs> oh, we, we'll still take that. We'll still take that, yeah. Yes. Winning for two moves accounts. Yes. Okay. So when you're playing these blitz games, guys, you have, if you're playing a five-minute game, just make sure you don't blunder pieces or pawns at the beginning of the game. Like, for example, here, I think this is already a little bit of trouble. Because if I take on c3 and a3 is hanging, right? So mm -hmm. white's best shot would still be to get the bishop out and castle. This is very unfortunate. I think now I have this check also coming up. So black is going to be at the least up two pawns. So this doesn't look so great. Mm -hmm. And looks like um, Armand resigned in that position. So let's see, what do we have? So coach E has uh, no one at this point. So you can, someone wants to play, you can challenge him. Vedanta wants to know if you should play gambits in Blitz. What's your take, Henry? Yeah, I mean, if there's any time you should play gambits, it's in Blitz, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, gambits are, are good. They could, I think, teach you a lot about how to develop your pieces. And you can play them, I would say, in any time control, probably until you're way higher rated than I am. I mean, I used to play a lot of gambits, and I, I didn't stop playing them because I was getting punished or anything. I played the Smith Mora a lot against 21, 2200s. I did fine. I think, I mean, all of these are dangerous, right? I mean, yeah. I have faced this a lot in my personal chess career. That mm -hmm. is, I, I've never really played too much of gambits or other things, but I'm always afraid to face them. So <laughs> when someone throws that at you at like a five minute or a three minute game, it's always a lot more difficult to deal with it. So yeah, you could mm -hmm. play it. But the answer, uh, Vedanta, is that you should be comfortable with it. You know, you should never play an opening in which you're not comfortable with it. You're playing it because your opponent would be uncomfortable. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> if you're playing a gambit in Blitz and you start thinking, okay, I'm down a pawn, now what do I do? Then maybe you should have looked it up beforehand. <laughs> Not a good idea. So Ayush is saying Kochi declined. Kochi is playing a game and that's why. If you guys um, got a decline from the coach, it's nothing. It's just because, um, you know, they're playing a game. Mahir is pointing out there's a lag. Mahir, yes, there's always a lag. It's about eight seconds or so. So you'll have to just live with it that's how it is so what do we have here we have um coach e is up a piece oh classic discovered check for the queen yes bishop h2 
I want to see how you want a piece. Ah, you want a piece right here. I think uh, also a classic overloaded piece. The queen was guarding both the pieces. So you just took on d4 and took on a2. So that seems to be a simple winning idea. And then now mm -hmm. he wins a queen. I'm going to go back to coach um, Luis. So coach Luis is up like 200 pawns. Yes. But he's losing an exchange. <laughs> the rook is trapped. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I mean, the pawns and the bishop pair should, should still decide this surely, right? Should take care of it, yeah. <laughs> I think I can take on c6 or just play b4. doesn't matter. I think he's completely winning. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if coach E has started the next game. Not yet. That a pawn is just about the queen with the help of the bishop. Yep. Looks like it's going to make it to the finish line. <laughs> and if you have a longer time control, guys, if you are completely in lost position, please make sure you resign so someone else will get a chance <laughs> to play. Yeah, and try to challenge the coaches to the correct time control. Challenge them to 5-0 or 3-0, not something with a million increments in it. Exactly. Because the coaches can't always check because they get so many challenges. Oh, not quite a back rank mate because we can block it, but okay. you made them think for a second. Ayush is getting a second game. That's okay. I guess now um, Om was asking for a second game. If someone has not played, I prefer them to do that first, Ayush. I think some of some of them in the stream still have not played. So if you haven't played, just put your name in chat and you know we'll try our best to get you into play a game. We have another French advance. Let's see, which game is that? This is Emmanuel against Ayush. Ah, uh, yeah, he plays the French against Emmanuel. Emmanuel. <laughs> Wait, he's doing the same knight bd2, bishop d3. Okay, so this time. the Oh, the black knight's on d7. I was trying to remember what the other game was. The other game, the knight went to e7, f5, and took the pawn. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, this I have to say is a very classic um, mistake. In move. 12, um, if we catch up with a lag, I'm looking at knight mm -hmm. to b4, that is move 11. Mm -hmm. That is a very good move for black and a very common mistake by white. If there is one piece that's super important, that's your light squared bishop. Pawn structures, I keep talking about it a lot in our classes, decide mm -hmm. good pieces. These two pawns are in dark squares and they're fixed. And that center basically tells you that you can control the dark squares using those pawns, but you do need your light squared bishop for the light squares, right? So trading, allowing that trade, particularly for a knight, is not so good now. Black is positionally much, much better. The only thing he needs to do, he needs to do is find, find a good route for the c8 bishop. Mm -hmm. So you say black is better. What's black's plan? What does black want to do here? So this is one of those gradual slow play <laughs> to the end kind of things okay. i mean the first thing i would do if i'm playing black is clearly try to take control of light squares right so that's where i've started getting an advantage mm -hmm. in b6 i love that move that emmanuel has right. played controls c5 and controls a5 and bishop a6 is coming in and the bishop is going mm -hmm. to go to c4 maybe and uh, queen b5 shouldn't be big a deal uh, that big a deal i think i can just pull back maybe rook a7 Mm -hmm. and continue doing the same thing. Maybe some chances of attacking e6 with queen c6 is required. But overall, I feel like, you know, black, sh black should be just slowly, slowly gaining advantage here. Uh, AP says, congrats on 1K. Yes, thanks to International <laughs> Master Sagar Shah from Chess Space India. He was so good yesterday. We had 985 subscribers and he was like, I'm not leaving until you guys go and subscribe to Coach um, <laughs> Chess Kings and Queens channel. So um, it was a really nice gesture for him from him. This class only for members only. Actually, it's not. We do have our students play in and, uh, you know, if we and some some of them are playing multiple times AP. So if you want to j jump in and get a game, yes, you can try. No, no problem. The only problem, I guess, is it's uh, we have practical limitations, yeah? We can only get a certain number of games with our coaches. Mm -hmm. You can try to... Um, AP, who should I challenge? So, I'll tell you the ratings, and based on that, you can challenge. Coach Luis is about 
1800, but I would put him higher than that. He studies constantly and coach Emmanuel is 2200. You can pick. <laughs> Wait, so it looks like coach Luis won that game. So let's see what his next game is. Okay, everyone's getting in their second game. <laughs> Sai mm -hmm. has jumped in with the second game. I want to make sure that you guys give a chance for others to play too. I know you're all like dying to play and challenge the coach. I like that. <laughs> all right, Coach Emmanuel says challenge me. Looks like he has a game open. Uh-oh. I think we can win a bishop for Coach Luis B5. No? Well, oh, no, what am I talking about? A trade on D5. <laughs> take on B5 would be a trade, Ooh. yes. Uh <laughs> but that wouldn't be bad, right? We just talked about having the light squared bishop. Right? That would probably be the same exact thing. <laughs> IQP positions. I think getting rid of this bishop would be a very, very handy thing to do. Vedanta says he wants to play coach Magesh. That's why I'm not challenging again. <laughs> AP, we have a strong 2100 USCF. That's nice. You have to challenge coach Emmanuel then, AP. Mm -hmm. No disparaging Fide in the uh, comments there. <laughs> no chess politics. <laughs> okay, so what is going on with coach Emmanuel? He's playing against... Ah, so Coach Emmanuel is asking for uh, another challenge. Maybe he wants to do uh, a Simo. Because he's still playing his game. Well, to be fair, he is up a rook here. He's up a rook and he's up two minutes. If he's playing more than one game, will it automatically pop up? That's a good question. I have a hard time following your games when you play Simuls. It only wants to show me one of your games at a time. So we'll oh, see. really? Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. I didn't realize that. But I think, let's see, if, if he does do do it today, we'll, we'll find out. So we have Mr. Solid. <laughs> Mr. Sai have a solid <laughs> end game here. <laughs> I like his chance. And it's not so low on time. Pretty, pretty equal. Ooh, mm -hmm. things got interesting. Could you actually play knight takes b6 there? I think yeah, knight takes b6 was, was a free pawn because after rook g2, the king would have gone to f1, yeah? So after rook g6, I take knight takes b6. Right, and we're forking the rook and the uh, bishop. Yeah, and rook g2 is not even possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. See, I, I don't like this uh, f4, g3, h2 thing that Sai has done, yeah? I think this is very dangerous with the rooks on the board, with this bishop. It's really a, it's really a problem. Yeah, because as soon as the rook comes to e2, you're going to have <laughs> some trouble here. I guess knight f2 keeps... Well, no. Eh, rook c1. Rook c2 makes more sense, I guess. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm just thinking at this point, it's going to be a painful pro process for white to defend. I don't think white can defend. Mm -hmm. Maybe knight b4. Ah, you should not take it. Sorry, nope. You don't want to give up the 7th rank. So he picks up a pawn. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty solid game up to that point. So right now looks like um, Coach Emmanuel won his game. So and he's playing his next game. Against Shanks 3993. Okay, we got a Grunfeld going on here. So we'll wait for that opening to go. Ooh, he managed to trade rooks. How did that happen? I would not have traded rooks if it was black. So coach E was nice enough to do this trade. I would have probably kept my rook. Ah, he's going for a king and pawn in game. No wonder. No, he's not. He didn't take the knight on d3. Why not? He could have gone straight for a up a pawn, king upon in game. <laughs> but he likes his bishop more, I guess. <laughs> no way. Well, I, don't know, I guess this looks still pretty hard to defend, but... Yeah, I think the bishop is just too strong. In any case, the bishop is knight end games with the bishop having the pass pawn. It's always a tough one, particularly mm -hmm. an outside pass pawn like this one. Ayush is saying, can you ex accept challenge? You have to go in 15 minutes. Ayush, you played two games already. <laughs> yes. We will definitely <laughs> like to play with you, but you have to, uh, you know, I, I have to make sure everyone else gets in. Vedanta is waiting very patiently. 
AP, you should challenge with any blitz time control with no increment, hopefully. But some people are challenging with increment anyways and in getting games, so. <laughs> 38 seconds to Sai has 12 seconds. Okay, but now we can pre-move checkmate. Okay, perfect. <laughs> that is that. So let's see what we got here in this five minute game that coach Emmanuel is playing. So E5, that seems too early. At least from what Grunfeld I know. <laughs> <laughs> so should we play just Bishop E3 there? Yeah, yeah. Usually Bishop E3 and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, some Rook C1, Queen D2, those kind of moves are very common. Uh, Bishop, I think Bishop B5 check is also one of those lines without, I think even before C5. So E5 seems a little too committal for some reason. I feel like it's, it's just too much. Maybe Bishop G4 right here was also nice. So basically, mm -hmm. now he has to take with a pawn, yeah? Bishop takes... Wait, he's taking with a queen. He's allowing knight takes d4. I'm not so sure. But we get b7? But e5 oh, is wait, also no, hanging. So e5 is also hanging. So I think black should be fine here. The two bishops are just actually a little annoying. But, mm -hmm. but I think black... Actually, maybe I also have knight c2. Probably very strong move, knight c2. Because you have to play rook d1, and then I have queen c8. So the point is, I really want to get rid of one of the bishops, right? So if you ask me, the mm -hmm. only danger of losing this position would be using the pair of bishops. So right. even if even if white, um, let's say we trade e5 for e7, and, and white has a pair of bishops, that's a real danger. So I think knight c2 will take care of that. If he plays knight c2. AP has a pretty strong chest art complex. His chest art complex is 2446. <laughs> I'm I'm not very far, AP, so maybe you, you could be challenging me <laughs> with, a, with a nice one on one game. We did get knight to c2. Those who are seeing the stream while playing, please do not listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone makes a move that we talk about, we're always wondering. So in the chat, someone's asking what tournaments they should play in if they're a beginner. Well, right now, tournaments are kind of paused, but there are some online tournaments that you can play, but they're mostly going to be speed chess, which I think, you know, they, it could be fun, but not ideal for improving. So I'd recommend if a beginner, you go play a lot of like 30 minute time control games online. Just get a lot of practice in before you worry about tournaments too much. That is right. Lot, plenty of online games. Just playing helps. Mm -hmm. Just playing really helps. Swag time is playing against... Coach Luis. <laughs> yeah, Vedanta mentions the World Open. Is anybody planning to play the online World Open? What do you think, Megash? You won the World Open, right? What's your long opinion? time ago, 15 years ago? <laughs> I have played a few times since, and I have come close to <laughs> tying for first. Maybe, maybe like at least twice after that. I remember playing the last round, and if I win, <laughs> I would be tying for first. But I ended up losing the last round both the, both those occasions. But okay. yeah, in 2005, I tied for um, first with Kamel Maton, Polish Grandmaster. That was a really cool, uh, fun tournament. But now, I mean, they had the side events last week, right? I'm, I'm not sure. I wasn't following it. I saw they had to push it back by a month. So now it's well, the main they event pushed, in They pushed the main event to August 9th, like mm -hmm. that, that weekend. But I, 7th, uh, August 7th to 9th, the main, main event. But they all definitely have... Um, they definitely did some side events. Okay. This is a very interesting position. You know, black is up a pawn, but white has compensation with a strong center. And particularly this bad bishop. So, Neil says he played in the side event. Neil, how did it go? Oh, he says it did terrible. I was hoping you made some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so root d1. I think d5 kind of ideas are coming in right now. I still think black should be comfortable, you know, black gets to, at some point, worst case scenario, even give the pawn back. Actually, right now, knight d3 looks very strong to me. It just so shuts. knight d3, what if 
I try to challenge it with bishop f1 or something. I was going to go b4 next. Uh, b4. Okay. okay, so a takes b5 cannot be right. If you're playing white here, you the biggest thing is you need to maintain the pressure. So the whole point is your bishop here on b7 is always very difficult. So think about this. Black cannot untangle easily. If I ever push this, you will take here and I will have like some kind of double isolated pawns. Um, so that's one of the things. I guess he was worried about knight takes a4, yeah? Maybe mm -hmm. he's forced to take because knight takes a4 is happening. Looks like black miss, missed knight takes a4. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess he played um, a takes b5 because of out of necessity. Mm -hmm. Okay, now black is just up two pawns. Mm -hmm. This is looking good for uh, Coach Luis. Let's go on to Coach Manuel. Ooh, this looks like a tough game for him. Looks like he dropped a pawn somewhere. So this knight yeah. c2 and queen c8 were played. I'm I'm pretty sure. <laughs> We have to be careful not to mention any moves. Yes, queen c8. That's a very strong move. I don't think I would have found that move. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. the e5 pawn became too weak. Yes, definitely. So the funny thing is after rook to d8, if you look at this, black is playing rook to d8 and coach e is playing rook to e1. <laughs> Wow, he is really trying to play for a win. I, I think crazy. so. My guess is he wants to win. He definitely yes. wants to win this game. Of course, Coach Emmanuel is well aware of the fact that it would be a dead draw, I think, if he traded Rooks here. And he is st still thinking he could swindle. <laughs> oh, I see what it is. He's up like a minute on clock. Yes, he wants to get a safe position where he can move his bishop back and forth 80 times and win on time. Well, I mean, the possibilities, of course, all <laughs> plan pawns are in light squares. But the problem is white spawns are in dark squares. So the chances are he's going to lose his pawns more than anything else. Because for this rook to even get in, it's going to take forever. Okay, so this is basically a drawn endgame. Actually, I would say much better endgame for black. That mm -hmm. coach E is trying to flag his opponent in. Let's go to the I other one. I, I, I want to see if it, if it works, if he can flag. Oh, you want to see it? Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he can do that in 26 seconds. He's going to have to avoid the repetition first because black seems to be ready for a repetition. Well, he'll play here. something like g4 at some point, I think. Yes, but he's got to time it. He's got to wait for black to be in the middle of a pre-move and then slip in g4. <laughs> <laughs> that would be evil. <laughs> that would be evil. I'm sure he's going to play g4 now. There yep, there go. it goes. Had to be played. Okay. Maybe e4 is coming up soon. Yep, there it is. Ooh, e5. I think black wins rook takes h4. Rook takes h4, king takes h4, bishop f2. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Was that enough to win, actually? Yeah, I don't know win. my end games. Okay. That'll win. Because the e5 pawn is also in a dark square, right? And my, my gut feeling is it should win. I think he managed to swindle him. Yes, absolutely. Now we're up a pawn and up a million... Seconds on the clock. How did he actually win that pawn? So f6, ah, because of f6. F6 and 4 was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. All right. He managed to win that. <laughs> Those okay. end games can be very dangerous and no increment blitz. Like a small time advantage can be enough because you can make so many bishop moves very quickly. <laughs> mm, yeah, Shanks 3993, we're sorry. We're sorry. Yes. You played well. You played you well. Played well, uh, well, and unfortunately, um, we 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 do that sometimes. We try to win on <laughs> we don't time. <laughs> we we want to win whichever way possible. And these uh, guys are tough. You gotta win however you can. Otherwise, you're gonna lose. So all these yes. strong and kids. Dinesh is saying we have a lag. I don't know how much of a lag we have. And um, I feel like it's still about the same amount. Yeah, I still see it's about eight seconds or so, Dinesh. That's mm -hmm. been there for a whole time. Yeah, Shanks, you played a really good game. I would have, I would have thought you should start playing for a win at that point, even though you had only forty seconds. Uh, to make a draw, I think you should still play actively, right? Active chess draw would probably be easier to achieve. Mm -hmm. So, problems once you start going back and forth, you clearly knows that nothing is going to happen, right? Akshat says no lag. Okay. 
All right, so what do we have here? We have glowing character three. I know this ID very well, and I, I of course cannot place it again. Mm -hmm. We have swag time. Uh, wait, swag time already finished the game, yeah? Oh no. Hey, playing. Coach Luis is going down. Ooh, he's down, and he is down mm -hmm. to last second. He played a couple of moves, but he's completely <laughs> lost. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Over. This whole time, I was thinking Coach Luis was black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is yeah. okay. crazy. I was thinking the whole time that he's up two pawns. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. So he was down two pawns and he was yes. like, okay. Oh, so, and then everything started going bad. Yeah. That was, that looked like um, just some tilt. Like you blunder a little bit and then the blunders keep going. Yeah. So actually this is very early in the game. I think maybe some 95 kind of ideas was probably required. This is the problem, right? When you give up a pawn, you have to kind of show the results, right? You can't, you can't really, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you play for initiative, when you give up a pawn, you got to go for it. That's okay. Good game by Swag Time. Arav is playing against Coach Luis. So maybe in about um, five minutes or so, we can just slip in a game. And Henry, if you want to play a game at any point, please feel free to. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, now we have... We Which play. game are you looking at, RF? I'm looking at um, Coach Emmanuel's game. Oh, Emmanuel, okay. He just won an exchange. All right, I'm going to accept the game from Chesspin2011. Nice, so I'm going to follow your game as well. <laughs> Nuki Chess, we're coming after you. Okay, Coach um, Luis can be challenged. I mean, you can challenge Coach Luis. AP, sure, you can challenge me at some point. We can play a game. If your chess.com rating is uh, 24 something, you're you're very close to mine. Definitely, we'll play a game. Ayush is like, I have 10 minutes until mid Atlantic. <laughs> Ayush, you played two, a couple of games. <laughs> you can play more too, but don't worry. All right, Vedanta, just, I'm going to look through one last set of games and then I'm going to start accepting some challenges, Vedanta. You can do that, right? Coach, <laughs> Coach Luis, is someone gave me a smackdown. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself, Coach Luis. I think it was, it was a nice game. I think um, you just had to play a little bit more active after the pawn sacrifice. This is basically game over. I'm going to look at your game henry ah you had to go birds opening right oh wait king's gambit <laughs> <laughs> birds opening come on <laughs> only by transposition if i need to okay and i'm not mm -hmm. sure what black okay so he had to play knight h5 so eventually he tried to get into knight knight g7 he's fianchettoing the knight okay i'm not really sure what to do so i'll do this Hmm. I may have surprised Chespin 2011 with an on passant capture there. <laughs> Did he miss it? Let's see. I oh, yes. So. <laughs> oh, yes. He seems shocked. <laughs> Let's see. All right. So, Coach, he won his game. All right. Let's see. Vedanta, go for it. I want to challenge me. I'll play a game against you. And then slowly I'll start playing against others. And AP, maybe I, I won't be able to do a simul against you, so I'll have to start with you. Um, Vedanta, what's your ID again? You have to type it in chat. Okay, go for the challenge again, VB7. I didn't see, I think I saw your challenge quickly, I was not so sure. Stunning frame. I will um, play with you at some point, but right now I think I'm starting with some of the students and try to get in. Oh, maybe I should have waited. I remember making this mistake against Vidit Gujarati in Iceland, in Reykjavik in 2000. I don't remember exactly which year, 2017, I think. 
It's not a good idea to play this. You could have played e5, by the way. When I give you a free move like that, you should do it. Um, I can I can do a couple of other games. I, I try to do a simul, so if someone else wants to challenge me. Uh, AP, I'm not sure if I can accept your challenge yet, because that might um, mean require a little bit more attention. So maybe after I finish all these um, simul, in the end, I can play a game against you. Best mule challenges. Okay, accepted. Let's say we play something like knight b5. Okay, chess pen. Okay, I accepted best mule. I accepted. Wait, let me make a move first and chess pen. Okay, so I got three games. Okay, you're going to let me play the check, so I'm going to play it. I figured three minute blitz um, simul seems to be, oh, nope, oh, no, you did not let me do that, my friend, you did not. So unfortunately, VB7 fell into a checkmate right there, so I'm going to close that out. <laughs> I'm going to close, wait, I have to start playing my moose, I guess, going low on time. Luckily, best mule challenged me to, I guess, a five minute game. Boss Pineapple, challenge me again. I just missed your challenge. Okay, Glowing Actor got in before you, Boss Pineapple. That's okay. Next, after this, I'll be able to play against. Should I go for this? Um, no, I'm going to go back. So. I've noticed that when I play three games and I have an automatic setting of switching back between games, um, it's always tricky because if I don't get into a winning position quickly, mm -hmm. I'm usually <laughs> flagging. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm counting on my skills to finish the game before, which sometimes doesn't happen. So I'm also counting on some of them challenging me to a five minute game, which does happen. So. <laughs> Okay, let's throw this knight in there. I guess a free move. Okay, you're letting me play e4. Okay, so this is unfortunately a simple blunder, I think. Queen g5, I'm hitting the pawn and hitting the queen. Okay, this is also not a good move, my friend. Okay, let's just play this slowly. Okay, so knight h3 check, I pick up the queen. Let's play something like this. Unplugged is challenging me. Um, well, wait a little bit, my friend. I am finishing this. Okay, so let's play a four check. I'm up on time in most of these games, so I'm really not worried about the clock situation. So. All right, I've defeated Swag Time in the two knights defense. Good game. <laughs> oh, two knights defense, huh? Okay, so we got checkmate coming up here against chess pen. <laughs> All right, so let's close that. My guys, you play the two knights, right? Yes. Don't you love when your opponent plays knight g5? Isn't that such a good feeling? Yes. Well, <laughs> except except when I'm playing for a re really serious match and a grandmaster plays that against me, I'm usually scared. <laughs> okay, then you're like, oh boy, there's, there's preparation. <laughs> because that's one of the most forcing variations, you know? They have lots of right. forcing moves. And uh, I, mm -hmm. I again, it all comes from memory, right? I was playing this tournament in, um, in, in India, in, in Delhi, if I remember right. And I was... Okay. I was playing for first place in the last round and my opponent comes in, plays this knight g5 mm -hmm. and it, it was really a problem for me. You know, I, I really didn't know. I, I went for a full out attack, ended up losing. By the way, guys, I'm only playing one game so I can take a couple of more challenges and may, after that, maybe I'll play a game against AP to finish it up. Yes, yeah, so that has to be what we're building up to. We want to see AP put his money where his uh, 2400 rating is. <laughs> All right, swag time. I'm not rematching you right now. Maybe next time. But then you know what? I did get my sweet revenge because I had another critical game in in Hastings. Um, in Hastings, I had.
this grandmaster from india uh, that i had to play against and mm-hmm. i had the same situation and i this time i went super prepared i spent like 2 3 hours <laughs> and i was looking at all the other lines and i was also looking at this particular line i was like okay if if this mm-hmm. night two nights and night g5 happens i really need to know what's going on so i think that makes a huge difference you know when when i had the game i was mm-hmm. much more comfortable because i knew what was happening all right, right. i got unplugged om nangya will start a game okay let's take this pawn <laughs> neil says that you showed him that Hastings game. Hey, you yes. would show everybody that game too, Neil, if you could play was Queen right, takes H2 got... against the Grandmaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh not very often do I get to do that, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Otto is challenging me. Do, should I accept 4? Yes. Okay, let's go to a cha- Oh, the challenge went away, my bad. I was trying to accept it and didn't come in. Okay, let's just uh, let's just take this. Let's just go here. Okay, that is mate. <laughs> all right, Shanks says that knight c two and queen c eight was all his idea. But my question to Shanks <laughs> is, how did how did we know? How did you know we were even questioning it? We weren't watching the stream. <laughs> yes, I think you pro- probably got caught <laughs> red-handed here. <laughs> Uh, maybe oh, he... someone told him that we were accusing him. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's going back and watching the highlights right now. Okay, fair fair enough, fair enough. It's a good idea. Good idea, definitely. I did the I did the rookie mistake of giving up my bishop. I keep talking to everyone else and <laughs> sick. I'm telling um players not to do it and I just blundered. Mm-hmm. I mean not blundered, I just gave up my bishop. Should I play g4? Okay. I think I'm playing too slow here. I'm going to have to pick it up a notch. Okay, so let's trade that and let's bring the next guy in. Okay, so queen to d3, no, not so good. Let's play, I really want to play that move. Whew, okay, 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 I gotta play something, b3. Too slow, too slow. Bishop e3. Boss Pineapple is one I need to really watch out for because he's always going to get me in time trouble, you know? Mm-hmm. Last time he got me in super time trouble. Oh, yeah. He knows the best way to win in the Simo. <laughs> yes. So why can't I do this? One? Okay, let's play this. Okay, we got a free piece here. But I'm really low on time. Okay, I have to pick this up. Okay, so he keeps bothering me, so I have to go back. All right, Ayush, good luck in your, your game. Yeah, those who are playing Midland, Mid-Atlantic League, you're starting right now, so go in. <laughs> He's so interested in attacking my queen. Ayush, don't worry about the rating. Just go play your stuff. You'll do fine. Wait, who is he if playing? If you lose, then you'll, you'll learn something. He says he's playing at 1840. <laughs> That's okay, absolutely. Easy. <laughs> Wait, do, do I have only one game? It looks like someone resigned. I thought I was playing two games. I'm sorry, Boss Pineapple. Someone else resigned, which means I get to play you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yep. your reward for lasting longest in a simul is that pretty soon you're the last game playing, and then you just have no hope. I, I've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's always tricky, right? Ooh, mm-hmm. we played castle. He castled with. I had pawn e5, f5, knight h4, and g4, and Boss Pineapple wants to castle. Arman, nope. So you're saying you have some hope? So, AP, you can probably challenge me now. We can play a game. This seems to be... I see a lot of these kids joining in to start playing the, the league. This is the last game of the Mid-Atlantic League. They have one left. Excellent. What other clubs are participating in it? They have a few. Um, I don't know exactly their names. But mm-hmm. yeah, they have a few other clubs. The 
You know the one in um, South Brunswick? No. Uh, is... him, uh, by Doug Gorman. Anand Mishra is the one who runs the league. He's very good. He's organizing mm -hmm. it. Okay. Why is this not over? Why am I still playing this position? <laughs> <laughs> he has his king on g6 and he's surviving. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. AP says that his settings aren't allowing him to challenge titled players. AP, it could be because you just made your chess.com account or maybe because you have a provisional rating. I'm not sure. They might have put that in there to keep people from spamming all the, the grandmasters. Oh, sorry about it. I didn't know that. Is that is chess.com is actually telling you you're not allowed to challenge title players, AP? I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's even I've not seen that. I knew I was going to miss that move. And I saw that move and I still let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not happy. Okay, I have 27 seconds and Boss Pineapple is still giving me a game. I should have had a completely winning position by now. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to flag him. All right, looks like um, AP says, can you challenge me? Let me see if I can find his ID and challenge him. He's a stunning frame. Okay, got it. Let me see mm -hmm. if I can challenge you. Actually, the only problem I have, oh, I have one more person challenging me. <laughs> yes, Ryan, if you're playing Mid-Atlantic League, then go play the Mid-Atlantic League. You should be gone now playing a game like three yeah, minutes ago opponent's <laughs> waiting for you your clock is ticking wait how do i how do i challenge without changing this board setting i that's the problem i have does it change the board setting when you make a challenge well the funny thing which is not com is the board layout is different when i'm viewing multiple boards to to one uh, uh, just to doing one board so i have mm -hmm. this cropped exactly <laughs> based on the multiple viewing board so I don't know how I can challenge you right now without doing that. So, um, yeah, I'm not so sure AP, let me do one thing. Maybe, you know, I can still play this after the stream and the stream ends, the chat will still be open. I will probably try to play you at that time because um, unfortunately I'm a little amateur at <laughs> this uh, chess.com window resizing and everything. So. The only way I can challenge you right now is... Oh wait, I can challenge you here. Why am I not looking for you here? No. Okay, I'm gonna accept a couple of more games if anyone um, wants to challenge. And then in the... And this is my last set of games, guys, so... What is this? E4, C3, Queen, C2. Okay, we want one more game. Fine. Ayush wanted me to play the French. Unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't play him. But I'm going to play the French. Okay, Arav has gone crazy with his openings, so I don't know what he's doing. So AP is giving me a suggestion I can click on the leaderboard. Okay, I'm going to try that after this. And if it doesn't work, like I said, we'll do it right after the stream. Sorry about it. All right, one last game with everyone. So my last three games. Two already going on. Okay, giving me free stuff. Okay, so this looks pretty good.
Boss Pineapple has the typical ah, Rook to G2. It's giving me too much. Arav is playing extremely unconventional. <laughs> no, it's not like um he gets to challenge. I've been accepting challenges. I'm getting more. Okay. Going to accept one more from Sujai Nair. I was planning to finish up right there, but it looks like you guys are forcing me to play another one. Okay. Ooh, sneaky. Look at him attacking my e6 pawn like that. Should I go after this? No, I think it would be a little too much. I could take this. Okay, I'll do that. Take the free pawn. This looked like a position that should absolutely be over. But it's still not. Queen to c1. I didn't think that was even possible. Okay, I'm really low on time here. I'm just realizing that what these guys are doing is they're putting me behind on the clock. Why am I so low on time? <laughs> Wait, bishop e7? Why are you giving me free pieces? Shoot, did I get my queen trapped? Looks like I did. Not happy about that. Who did I lose my queen to? Okay, we got something close to a checkmate here. Hopefully that's in. All right, I got my queen trapped against one player. Okay, so I just need to finish this game off quickly so I can focus on the other ones. Do you think I, I'm going to survive this, Henry? What do you think? I don't know. I can only see your game versus Arav right now. I, I think you're going to survive that one at least. <laughs> Against Arav? Yeah, I can't follow your other games. Okay, I think I found a mate in one. So, the Arav game, yes, I'm winning. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at him trying to do a sneaky checkmate on me. Okay, let's do this. 44 seconds. Okay, this I think they're going to get me in some of the games at least. Okay, got one checkmate. That's good um, Let's do that Let's come back Check Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? I'm going to I'm going down. It's not good So low on time 32 seconds Okay, he is flagging me with 32 seconds. It's not good. Okay, I'm really not doing good here. I'm going to lose probably like three games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to win this one at least. I don't care which one I do or don't win. I do have to win this one. Okay, I'm gonna win this one. Go back to, I'm gonna give up some games. Just going to win the win the ones. I am losing against Boss Pineapple. Let me just beat Sujay. I'm going back to Sujay. Oh no, we went down on time in two games. I beat one game. <laughs> I won one game with four seconds left. I had to kind of call it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I was going to go down on all three games on time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well you got one of them at least. I got one back. Okay, good job guys. Good job. That was that was tough. <laughs>
Um, you, you, you guys did well. <laughs> and Arman is like, I beat Bagesh. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So that was good. It was fun. And um, we had a bunch of games. Um, mm -hmm. That was that was nice. And uh, maybe after the stream, AP, I'll send you a challenge. Maybe we'll play one quick game. And uh, that's about it, I think. As always, it was fun to play against all of you guys. We will be doing this every week at 6 o'clock. Uh, we have limited coaches to play against, so we'll try as much as possible. Um, but it was fun. Thanks, Henry. Yes, yeah, guess... yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here, yeah? Yep. All right, I'll see everybody next week. All right, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, the chat will still be on for a couple of minutes after the stream is done, so I'm just going to end the stream right now. See you guys.